What would you do if I told you Post Malone didn't use analog gear? Would you A, like the video, B, like and comment on the video, or C, would you say, Sky, shut the fuck up, but not on the real, like the video. While I was on my search to make a video showing you something like how industry people record and get their songs mixed, I stumbled upon this article on UAD. This is Lewis Bell, all right? Producer Lewis Bell on creating number one hits with UAD and Apollo. And they start out by saying, congratulations on the immense success of Bear Bongs and Bentleys. Thank you. It took two years to get everything just right. First thing, listen, it said two years to get everything right. But a lot of people think that they're supposed to record, mix, and master their project within a week, a month, two months, and put it out. That's why you're probably not seeing some of the results that you want to get because you're rushing it. Even the people at the highest level with resources, they don't rush the music. That's just something I just had to point out. And they ask, is it true that you're going to use an Apollo Twin as both your interface and preamp for vocals? Yeah, I keep it very simple. I start with the Sony C800 microphone. Granted, everyone watching this video doesn't have a great microphone like the Sony C800, you know what I'm saying, $10,000 microphone. Um, But that's besides the point. All right, then he says, like, most vocalists he worked with, unless they request their own mic, I connect that via XLR to the back of the Apollo Twin, and I'm just using the preamp built into the Twin. So he's not even using the Neve, the Manly, the API, none of that. He's just using the built-in pre from the Twin, and that's cool. And he says, I want to make sure that I can change the color of the vocal sound after the take and tweak it out to the singer request something different from whatever we've printed on the vocal track and Pro Tools. That's another key thing that you need to take away is that the professional people print, all right? That's why I print, all right? You working in a studio with analog gear and all this other shit, you print, all right? I'm used to printing. That's why I print my tune, my compression, all this shit, right? Because that's my personal preference. But as you see, it's like, why does that flow work so well for you? He says, I had certain plugins I used on my vocal chains for years, but once I discovered UAD plugins, I found it came really easy to get results. Suddenly, I didn't need to tweak all that much to get a good vocal sound. UAD plugins get right to the point. This video is not sponsored by UAD, but I can say they make some good fucking plugins, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to lie. Like, the Need Sensor 3 Goated. Everyone assumes I use all this outboy gear, but one of the things I love about the Apollo Twin and UAD plugins is that I can get incredible sounds on the go in a hotel room if I have to. Post Malone's engineer, producer, they're using the Apollo Twin, right? And they're using a $10,000 microphone, but you understand what's going on. They're using the Twin and he's using UAD plugins. Later on in this article throughout the video, you're going to see some of the plugins that you need to be using if you want to have a sound like a Post Malone or a mix or something like a Post Malone. But you need to not worry about the settings so much. You just need to have the plugins and figure out how to use the plugins to fit your voice. This is the sauce that a lot of people want to get. So now we know what Post Malone records with. It's just the built-in pre and Apollo Twin and the C800. That's what we know, right? That's what he uses. Then it goes down here. Like, what UAD plugins do you use after you track the vocals? So this is the mixing part. For the vocals, they use the 1176 compressor, right? And he says it's a go-to for him because it gives the vocals a certain attack and roundness along with a nice warmth and it just makes the job easier. So the 1176 compressor, you can get it as a Waze plugin, UAD plugin, uh, shit, uh, Slate Digital plugin, IK Multimedia plugin, the T-Rex and shit. They have this plugin in a lot of different ways, right? And you can also get the UAD Spark version of the plugin. Like, okay, so let that be known. So you can get the 1176 compressor anywhere, right? And then it goes with the Need 1073. Love the Need 1073, for sure. So you can get that the Spark, you get the Waze, you can get the Slate. You, it's so many versions of the Need 1073, the kit plugins. Like, everyone at this point has their version of the Need 1073 because it's fucking amazing. Um, and then he says the API 550A or the 550B. And those plugins are in the vocal chain. And then he goes to the ad libs. So on the ad libs, he say like the brigade chorus pedal. All right, so that's a pedal plugin, chorus plugin. 
and he goes over like how he tweaks them in the background. So if you want to make a preset or a template similar to like Post Malone, I'm giving you the sauce right here. It's literally right here, and the link will be in the description. But yeah, it's a pedal. It's nothing like super crazy. And I love this plugin right here that he's gonna talk about right here. Like this shit really like opens up the uh, high end for me. Like I like the shit, like the brightness shit that they're talking about right here. Like I got that plugin, the like the actual like, native, not the UAD one. They work the same, but the Sonics Oxford Inflator, that's fire. And it's crazy how like they're talking about him not using any analog gear, but we see him right here like fucking with a distressor and all this other shit and like the little 76 right here but one thing that really stood out to me in this article is this part right here it says describe the collaboration process with post on a track like psycho or candy paint it says those tracks are a good example of post getting the beats and vibe together at home in fruity loops so basically post malone is an fs studio user and he records in fs studio at the crib <laughs> that's crazy I right, so it's like he'll send me the basic elements and i just said how can i make his vision sound clear as possible da, 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 i get the best song out of it it's like that's a real fun process because if i'm feeling something he's going to feel it because we have a similar music Barometer for what we like and similar eclectic taste. It's a big advantage when you're not dealing with competing visions or for a project where you can get stuck in a cycle of compromising and no one's really enjoying it. And that's where a lot of artists fall on their face because a lot of people don't trust the opinions of other people or respect certain people's opinions, right? And music is a collaborative thing artist producer engineer manager writer like everyone has to be on one accord right you got to do what's best for the song if you're around people that have similar tastes similar styles but are different enough to where they can add something unique to it that's gonna always help you out in the long run make sure you take away that part for the video and to get to the gear like you can find the apollo twin if you don't want the twin you don't have to use the twin but Waves has these plugins right here. So you can get the 500 series collection plugins from Waves. You get the Sonics Offer Inflator plugin. You can get the pedals. Like everyone has like a chorus pedal that you can get. The Cambridge EQ is here. Precision multiband. If you can't find an alternative for this, there are other multiband compressors and shit that you can use. Um, the Shadow Hills Master and Compressor. I think Brainworks has a version of this. Ocean Waves on um, Studio Reverb. And the Brainworks of Synth Harmonic Synth. And that's literally if you're mixing with stems and you got like subharmonics. And then like this is just an overdrive amplifier. And a lot of plugin companies have like amp plugins. That's like it don't get no better than that right like it's not even crazy what i really need you to do is stop putting so much pressure on yourself to get the same exact sound stop thinking that they're using something secret some secret plugins that they're doing something that you cannot do it's the artist right you have to create the art the music you have to figure out what plugin to pair with your voice but as you can see in the article post malone just uses the apollo twin <laughs> He records ideas and stuff at home in FS Studio. I mean, you have FS Studio. You probably got an Apollo Twin. You probably got the same plugins that they mentioned in this article or plugins that's similar. Like, what are you waiting on? Stop complaining. Focus on the music, all right? Focus on the music. Make the music. Make the songs that people feel, that people connect to. Stop worrying about Post Malone settings, the auto-tune settings, the compression settings, all right? Stop worrying about the settings, all right? Just make the music.